Camille and Mary picking up our team coverage from Woodward in Royal Oak. And tonight, Camille, this is not the news anyone wanted. Yeah, it is absolutely not the news that anyone wanted for sure. Uh, right now, DTE reporting at least 148,000 customers in the dark. Uh, take a look at some video. This is, again, such a mixed bag. We're talking about snow, rain, thunder, lightning, wind, the power outages. Of course, we were first alerted to this by one of our coworkers uh, who lives in Berkeley, and I talked to her on the phone. She said they were out without power Thursday through Sunday of last week, they got the power back on and now it's back out again. She said she does not know how they're going to deal with this because let's let's put it this way. This has been frustrating for so many people. So as far as the snow goes right now, you can't see it, but uh, I'm actually watching someone push out another car out of a parking lot and on to Woodward. It is slow going. I mean, I think a lot of people have decided to stay home, which is the smart thing to do. The people who are on the roads are going very slowly. We've been out all night and the roads have not been good. Not a ton of accumulation, but definitely slow going and people just uh, ready for spring. Take a listen. It's been crazy. It's, it's been crazy. I've been driving really slow, just making sure I was safe. I'm in the Detroit area, so I probably have like another 20 minutes, hopefully. But um, as long as I make it home safe, I'm not in a rush. I'm very ready to go home. <laughs> a little bit disappointing, to be honest. I'm ready for spring. Yeah, ready for spring, but we have to remember, of course, that we live in Michigan and it's still winter, although Wednesday felt like spring. So uh, really the big story tonight, uh, the roads, obviously, we did not see a lot of accidents, so that's good. And then, of course, these DT power outages, that is going to be the big story tonight and for days to come as here we go again with DTE. We'll have to see what happens to these poor people who are again without power. For now, we're live in Royal Oak, Camille and Mary, Fox 2 News. You can only imagine how frustrated people are right now. And Camille, is it really due to the heavy snow? Because it isn't obviously not as much ice as we've seen, I guess, in the last week or so. Yeah, you know, that's you, you bring up a really good point. The snow is very heavy. I was talking to a Berkeley police officer who was telling me that uh, the snow has just been weighing down the power lines. They were actually kind of babysitting a power line uh, because it was about to fall. It was about to go down and they were worried about that. So because it was near a lumber yard. So, yeah, the snow is just heavy and it's accumulating. It's building up on the trees and then the trees are by the power line. So, you know, you get this domino effect sure. uh, and you can see this flashing behind me. I don't know if you can see this. This. A lot going on. Uh, we've also been hearing about transformers blowing too. So this is a very busy night as far as the weather goes. Well, let's we'll hope be that back, they're of course at 11 with more.